I am wearing a classic Bavarian dindle, a tight bodice and a full skirt. This is the dress of Alpine peasant women. It comes in three pieces. Underneath it is a white cotton blouse with short puffed sleeves in my case, but the sleeves can be either long, short or somewhere in between. The blouse is also um, short-waisted, that is it ends right here and as you can see the neckline which is square is decorated with uh, fabric that is folded to resemble the open mouth of a frog and this is called Froschkoschel in Bavaria. So this is a Kropfband, it's a tight velvet ribbon um, that is uh, tied in the back and this is the traditional jewellery worn with a dandel. For authenticity's sake, I put on a pair of white cotton knee-high stockings. In Bavaria we call these Stutzen or Dirndlstutzen and um, they are made out of uh, cotton fabric, cotton yarn and they have this traditional pattern um, consisting of uh, holes and uh, more tightly knit um, fibers. On top of the dindle is an apron. The practical purpose of protecting the clothing is no longer necessary, so this is actually a silk apron. And the way the bow is tied has a very specific meaning. Tied on the left side, it means she is married. Tied in the center, she's a virgin. Tied on the right side, she is single and available. Tied in the back means she's widowed or working as a waitress. Male visitors will frequently sport a pair of lederhosen, lovingly called krachtlederne, made out of deer skin. They come in different lengths, but the shorter versions, which end above the knees, have become predominant. In the 19th century, this quintessential item was worn for work as leather was more durable than fabric and did not require frequent cleaning. In addition to Bavaria, they were also worn in Austria, Switzerland, Northern Italy, and the Alpine region of today's Slovenia. A good pair of lederhosen should be able to just be placed in a corner in an upright position. Dirt and wear add character and do not detract from the appearance. The stylish man wears them with a shirt, a loden yunker, a felted woolen jacket for cooler temperatures, woolen socks or vadelschoner, which are footless calf warmers, hafrel shoes, and a woolen hat decorated with a garmspot tufts of hair of the chamois, an alpine goat antelope known for its climbing ability.